Victoria, British Columbia took a page from Ottawa because Ottawa did everything right <laughs> on how to prevent protests. So the city of Victoria and the police department in Victoria decided, oh, we're going to one-up these protesters that are on their way to Victoria. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> okay, I got this. So they cordoned off the entire area, like the Ottawa police did after they got rid of the convoy. Victoria preemptively cordoned off the entire area. No cars were allowed within the area. Police checkpoints everywhere. Police state, basically, anywhere near the legislature in Victoria. Okay. The convoy never showed up for two weekends in a row. <laughs> now they are complaining that this is a significant cost to them. Well, you, you did it on yourself. What? Well, why? Why is that a problem? And they say that they're doing this under the Motor Traffic or Motor Vehicle and Traffic Act or uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Um, that they have the authority to do this without court order, without justification to create a police state in the, around the legislator, legislature. Um, they don't, they can do this without a court order because they're worried about public safety. Did they forget in Ottawa that crime rate was down 90% while the convoy was there? And that the first murder happened within one week after the convoy was gone? While the police checks were there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I my hat's off. Here. My hat's off to uh the convoy <laughs> in Victor or in BC because that is golden the police are so freaked out and the government in bc is so freaked out about you guys that they are screwing over everybody else just to stop you from not doing anything <laughs> welcome to the french <laughs>